iPhone 8 rumors finally start pointing to a probable date of announcement and launch. Samsung has pretty much let us know when we should expect its next gear smartwatch, and we also get a possible date for the next Google Pixel smartphones. I'm Jaime Rivera, and yes, these awesome t-shirts come from Ripped Apparel. You can follow my Twitter, and you will find the link and also 10% off. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. You've probably seen the ads of uh, Virgin Mobile where they're offering that if you buy a smartphone on their carrier, you pretty much only pay a dollar for service unlimited during a full year. Well, now you don't need to buy the smartphone. Follow the link in the description. You can pretty much buy any iPhone or bring your current iPhone, port your number to Virgin Mobile, and you will only pay a dollar for a year of service. And then afterwards, I think it's about $50 a month. I know it's too crazy. There's probably a catch. Learn more in the description. And if you were left drooling over that space black BlackBerry Key 1 that was only available in India and I think other markets, it's currently now being announced as an AT&T exclusive. You can learn more about how to get it in the description. We're not exactly sure if you're getting the extra gigabyte of RAM as that variant from India is, but yeah, this is another way to get the phone. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung as the company CEO of Mobile DJ Co. pretty much just spilled the beans over when we can expect the next gear smartwatch. He pretty much teased that there is an IFA event. And afterwards, we actually got the official invitation for the press event to happen at IFA. I am really excited over what the smartwatch could be. The Gear S3 continues to be one of my favorite smartwatches. Uh, let's just see if this one is actually better at notifications and third-party apps. And speaking of possible announcements, if you're wondering exactly when we're getting the next generation Google Pixels, Evan Blast has pretty much just spilled the beans on when. October 5th is the possible date. And probably one of the coolest parts of this rumor is the fact that this device might bring the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 836 processor. So this is a big deal for the Pixel. Let's see how that improves performance. And finally, the very hot rumors today have to do with the iPhone 8. We've got European carriers already predicting when exactly we should expect the smartphone to be announced. Apparently, pre-orders are going to happen on September 12th. And then 10 days later, as is in usual Apple fashion, you will be able to claim your phone September 22nd. And this is rather interesting. If you do the math, that's just seven days after the Galaxy Note 8 reaches consumers. So yeah, iPhone 8, Galaxy Note 8. It leads me to the question of the day. I mean, with just seven days of a difference between one phone and the other, obviously we don't know exactly what we're getting with the iPhone 8, but are you more inclined to an iPhone with the rumors or to the Note 8 given the recent announcement? In my case, I would like to have both. A uh, sort of large, small smartphone and then a sort of large, small, yeah, that's not a small phablet. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel as well for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern.